Okay, this is a short video to explain how you would use class notebooks. So you would have logged into your uh, Office 365 account and you've got Microsoft Word, Excel, OneNote, all of that is part of there. But if you go to Outlook, so that's your email, you would have received an email from your teacher inviting you to join a class. So when you click on that, that brings you to your class notebook. Now, it may take a little while on your device to set it up first, okay? but you're basically going to the online version of your class notebook. You could use an app. So what I've done here is I'm not actually online here. I'm using an app that I've downloaded, uh, Microsoft OneNote. I've downloaded this onto my computer, but I could have gone to Office 365 and done the same thing there. You could take your mobile phone and you can download this app for free onto your mobile phone so you have access to all of your information. So let's look, once you've gone into your class notebook, let's look and see what it is that you're presented with. So there's three parts to it. So we have collaboration space, content library, and then your personal folder, your personal information. So here we have a student called 14 first that I've just made up here. Um, but let's just see what the student gets when they first go in. So collaboration space is an open space where uh, teachers and students can input information. So let's say, for example, we're brainstorming here. We're trying to come up with an idea for a product. Let's say I might say a healthy snack. Okay, uh, somebody else may decide, well, I like the idea of developing an app. Uh, somebody else may decide, uh, let's say, a game uh, online, uh, for example. So these are ideas, and everyone can see these. They can edit them. Uh, so somebody else may come along and see what somebody's written here for Healthy Stack and say, uh, I, you know, I like this, etc. So everyone can access and edit all of this information. So it's a good way of all of us together being able to share information. If we decide uh, we want to come up with something else, we go on, we're going to add a new page okay, to this. Um, so let's say just hey, we're going to talk about marketing ideas. Uh, we may decide, okay, let's, somebody might say, well, I'm going to come up with a logo. Uh, somebody else may decide to come up with a, a cool ad, um, etc. So that's collaboration space. All of us can access the uh, information. They can delete things that they don't want, whatever, and they can add comments and stuff to anybody's uh, information up here. So that's the first part. Second part, content library. So the content library is where the teacher uploads information that the students may decide they'd like to have access to. So let's say, for example, final accounts. So final accounts are trading profit and loss. Okay, so the teacher here is but trading accounts, profit and loss accounts, balance sheet, and the overall final account here. So let's say uh, trading accounts. Oh, um, I have an example here of a trading account. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that because if I have a look at it, uh, I might decide, oh, this is useful. I, I like this. I, I can save that on my own desk desktop, or I can just say the teacher told me to have a look at this later on so I can go save as. So I'm just going to put that on my desktop. Uh, and I'm, I've got it down here, and I can then get access to it later. You can look at it. Oh, I've got a video here. Okay, uh, uh, I'm now logged in. I signed in as the teacher, so I can go and put comments on this. But the students can't put comments. So this is just information that's there. If you want to use it, you can use it. But what you would do is you download it like what I've done here, okay? Or you may decide, well, I, I like this video. Oh, there is a video that's useful. I might decide to use that one again. So uh, I'll go. Uh, might decide to copy this, okay, um, and you know put it into uh, like just copy the link and I'll put it into my own notes. So let's just have a look and see what my own notes look like now. So I now have. So here's. Uh, 14 first. So this is me. This is the student. So I've got some assignments. I've got no assignments I put in here. So let's just say, for example, I want to put in, it offers me a first page which has got no name on it. So let's just say I'm going to call it essay. Uh, and I'll, I might write my essay here or I might have it somewhere else and I'll import it into here. Okay, so I can copy and paste it or drag it in here. Class notes. So I had some notes here on CBA and key terms, whatever they are. So uh, I'm going to have a new one where I'm going to do, I've just started, let's say, looking at final accounts. 
And uh, what I'm going to do is just have some maybe sample documents that might be useful in this page. So on the middle of the page, so there's a heading which goes over here, so I know what I'm looking at. Uh, and then in here, I might drag in the, the example that we had from earlier on. Uh, I'll say how to do uh, whatever it is. Okay, uh, my homework. So here's an example of doing trading accounts. So I did a question uh, on the board and took a photograph of it and uploaded it and the teacher thought that was great and the teacher put a comment on it. I went and did maybe a piece of homework and when I did my homework I did it on Excel rather than say doing it on paper and I was able to save it and upload that to this particular folder. So now my teacher can have a look at it and the teacher can make comments on it. Um, well, there is anywhere I may decide I want to save information and maybe I might want to do some research. So obviously a big part of CBAs um, and getting to know the world of business is uh, you know, doing some online research and I may decide to uh, save. So let's say, for example, I'm interested in Brexit. So I might go to the RTE website and I might find something that's useful there. So I might copy and paste it in here or copy and paste the link. So that information then stays there. This folder is private, so the other students in the class can't see what you've written. Uh, if you decide you want to share it with them, you could put it into the collaboration space and they can then copy it from collaboration space. Uh, this area here, content library, this is where uh, the teacher puts um, all the notes that they want students to use in different sections of the course, so it's all broken down, easy for you to use. And then collaboration space is where we can all share information. So that's where you might decide to put you know, a piece of work that you think you've done that's good or a photograph or some information maybe about Brexit or, uh, that you decide other people might want to have a use of. Okay, I hope that kind of gives you an idea of what OneNote is all about.